Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. And today I wanna to talk about intuition. And actually it's pretty hard to talk about because it's not, there's not that many even words for it, but it's what we really wanna start using to make our most authentic art. So instead of me going on, I thought I'd bring in someone who is an expert in this area. And her name is Jenny Oppenheimer. She's the founder of the Solio Process, uh, which is based upon soul collage, which is a method uh, that helps people um, sort of discover and, and, and um, gain insight into their intuition. But basically it's art making. And uh, you have some really interesting takes on how people, um, how we can use intuition. I was thinking of this quote while you're talking. I have a, like a you know, library of quotes in my mind, but um, by Carl Jung, but he said, often the hands will solve a mystery that the intellect has struggled with in vain, right? <laughs> right. It's like, just you give it to your hands, right? Like yeah, you don't yeah, even yeah. have to, um, we try to think our way out of every situation and it just, it doesn't go so well. And, you know, I like to think of my hands as sort of an extension of, you know, the, the lower part of my, the lower intel, deeper intelligence, I guess, is sort right. of like the wisdom that's in my heart, my gut, my intuition, you know, we, it's called somatic intelligence, right? So that's like the intelligence of the body. And it's really a muscle. The in, I think of the intuition as being a muscle that we all have. Um, we just have not been really trained culturally and environmentally in our yeah. family systems to really use it. But we do rely on it. But then we have like the ego parts of our mind are always duking it out with the felt sense to say, no, you don't feel that way. You should do this. You, you know, that's right, where all right, the other right, right. more contrived voices come in. But if you really, you know, quiet, you let, you let that snow globe, you know, shaken up snow globe just settle. And what are you left with? What's the truth of the right. matter? And feel what that feels like, where that, where you feel it in your body and try to make decisions, whether you're making creative decisions, or collage decisions or mark making decisions, whatever decisions you're making, you're making them from a felt sense place, not a contrived yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. mental state. Right. What are kind of some of the questions that they can ask themselves to, to, de to go deeper with this? You know, it's sort of, it's, um, I find journaling or, or stream of consciousness writing mm -hmm. where you're not, you can't, I think to, to access that place, you really have to clear the critic out of the way and the, the discerner hard, judgment. Super it's hard. super hard. It's super hard. So music is one way that I use to drop deeper into my body sense, you know, rather mm -hmm. than um, intellectualizing everything. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's kind of the same state that poetry gets me into. If I, listen, if I read po poetry or something that's very inspirational, something that's inspirational right, to me. Right. It could be food. It could be, I don't know. I guess right. you could use many different things. So one of the challenges of, for me, and I, I know, if, you know, like we were trying to make our art more personal, more authentic, more uh, the work that has more of the understory of who we are is, is more unique, it's more powerful, it's, it's our best work, and, but it's hard to do. And so I know you help people uh, access this. Give us one of the more powerful prompts or questions that, that folks could use when they're standing in front of their work and what they've made and how to go deeper with, with what they're making or the end result if they wanna look back at their work to get more information about where to move next. I think maybe one way to stay, try to stay out of the intellectual, contrived mind, ego mind, and yeah. to go into, is to let whatever you're working on have the voice, right? So one of the prompts in my, when I'm doing soul collage is where I let the card speak. And it's, what I have to say to you is... You know, this is this is this the is art the talking, art to, talking you. to you. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I mean, it sounds wacko, but it's it's really you made it, right? Or you're making right, it. You're in a right, process right, of right. making it, and if the art itself is some extension of your intuition, of your unconscious mind and choices and psyche, then it will have a voice. And for you not to contrive the voice, but to let, you know, just let the thing itself speak by what it actually is. Um, Okay, so so yeah. so here's an image. Okay. So um, what I have to say to you is, 
you know, like you're, you're in this place of resting on your bed. I'm just telling you what's going on right here. Right, right. You know, you're resting on your bed and you're, and you've got this little viewfinder. You're looking to the future. You're seeing this like magical little situation, but your foot is tickling this feather right here, which is like got this, you're, you're setting something afloat here. Um, and let it go. Like, like push it off into the middle and, right, and right. then, and see where it goes. And maybe you want to get on that thing. Don't be in this static place. Get on this and see where the, where the feather wants to take you. See right. where, you know, that, that's maybe how I would, you know, right, right. read this card. I would, if I looked at abstract shapes on a painting, I could say the same thing. It's yes, like, yes, yes. It's like, um, what I have to say to you is, you love squares, but maybe it's time that you do something, you know, yeah. it's like, or, or you love this part here that, or pay attention to the understory here of where the drips are. And this is so beautiful right here. You know, yeah. your unconscious will voice will tell you yes. where to go. Yeah. Super great help there. Really, really cool. So, so that's it. So that, that question, when you're looking at your work, you're in the middle of it or you're finished it, uh, of simply asking that what what I have to say to you is and and the I is the painting right. is you through the painting yeah. in a way anyway super yeah. cool so jot that down uh, this is great I, I I write this on a piece of paper and just put it up next to my painting let your art dictate help you understand your art right it's a really cool <laughs> flip I have a really great um, uh, color tips PDF you can download. Uh, just click on the link below. And uh, again, have a great Sunday. Thanks so much for being here. It's Jenny Oppenheimer, and, and I'll have some uh, links in the show notes here about solio.org, and um, you can find out about uh, workshops and all the rest, and follow her on Instagram as well. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.